Maintaining a sanitary processing environment inside the facility starts with maintaining a sanitary environment outside the facility. The grounds around your facility should be well-defined and under your control. You should inspect the outside grounds regularly for landscaping issues, standing water, proper waste storage and removal, unsanitary storage of debris, obsolete materials, waste or junk, neglected or rundown buildings, pest attraction issues, issues from neighboring properties. But first, let's talk about landscaping. The use of vegetation such as grass, bushes, trees, and shrubs can really improve the appearance of your facility, but they can also create a great shelter or hiding place for pests. To prevent harboring pests, keep the vegetation away from the building and keep the vegetation clear at the ground level. Also, your ground should be designed for the proper control of water. Ensure that yards are well drained and that drives, parking lots, and sidewalks are paved correctly. Be aware of flood risks in the event of an unusually strong downpour. Ensure that the roof provides for adequate and controlled drainage through the grounds and away from the facility. Avoid standing water as it draws pests and often results in tracking mud and other contaminants into the facility. Waste storage and removal is another important consideration. Store outside waste in a location away from the building and other contamination points of the building. Properly maintain and cover outside waste containers to prevent leakage and pest harborage. Regularly empty the waste containers frequently enough to avoid the buildup of excess waste. Keep the areas around the waste containers clean and free of spillage so as to avoid drawing pests. Cleaning is made easier if the waste containers are placed on a concrete pad or paved area and if a water faucet or hydrant is nearby, or a power washer. Avoid the buildup of debris, obsolete items, or other waste or litter anywhere else on the grounds. Maintain or tear down neglected or rundown buildings. Place outside storage so as to prevent pest harborage and to protect the equipment, materials, or other items inside from deterioration or contamination. When inspecting your grounds, look for anything that can draw pests. Even lights may attract insects to the building at night. Ensure that outside lights are mounted in invulnerable locations or away from the building to avoid drawing insects to vulnerable places of your building. Ensure that there are no holes in exterior walls that would allow for the entrance of pests. Neighboring properties can also present issues for your site. Preferably, you should choose a site with neighbors that are not likely to present risks. However, you should regularly inspect your grounds and surroundings for changes that might present a risk. Look for strange circumstances that would present unexpected risks, but also look for the same issues you would look for on your own site, such as rundown buildings, debris, poorly maintained vegetation, standing water. Also look for nearby farming, ranching, or dairy operations, or irrigation ditches that could carry contamination. If there are issues, seek a mutually agreeable resolution with your neighbors.